at the Nebraska Bridge, and now I am on my way to Tionesta Lake. Coming down Route 36, and the entrance is going to be on the right. So just enjoy the scenic drive. give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Enjoy the video and thank you for watching. Tionesta Lake was built by the Army Corps of Engineers and this area was built to prevent flooding in downtown Pittsburgh and along the communities of the Allegheny River. pull off in this little pull off here and it's 15 minute parking there we go Tionesta Lake is located in Forest County and the nearest town is Tionesta and this is also a campground and there's hiking trails We are on Tionesta Dam, and this dam is the reason why Nebraska Bridge is inundated in water several times a year. Along the dam, there is riprap. Riprap holds back erosion. Tionesta Dam was completed in 1941, and according to the sign, the purpose is for flood control. The length is 1,050 feet, height is 154 feet. So it's a rock and earth dam. Okay, I'm going to drive over the dam, and we're going to explore the rest of the area. So please stay with me and enjoy the fall foliage at Tionesta Lake. Boat rentals and more. Down here is the visitor center. So I'm just going to pull in, get out, and walk around. Here's the visitor center. Life jackets worn, nobody mourns. Always wear your life jacket. And they have different levels of life jackets. They have ones made for calm water and they have jackets made for heavy rapids like McConnell's Mills. So be sure to check the rating before you purchase a life jacket. Boat rentals and there's a greenhouse. And I'm going to check out the Information Center Loop Trail. According to the marker, 
quote, this trail makes a loop that follows the edge of the field. It is a relatively flat paved trail that passes by three overlooks with benches. Walking time is approximately 15 minutes. Some beautiful fall foliage. Well, all these trees look like new growth trees. However, there are some beautiful old growth trees here. And activities you can do here are boating, fishing, um, quite kayaking, and there's a campground. You can also play a round of disc golf. Coming up is an overlook. And I'm going to go down the steps. Picnic table. It's a great place to have a picnic lunch. You do hear traffic from nearby Route 36. So I'm going to go ahead and head down. This is the week to check out fall foliage here in western PA. And the weather's going to be gorgeous too. And what helps these vivid colors are sunny days and cool nights. the bottom of Tayo Nesta Dam. Just a few minutes ago we were on the top. Even though I love hiking whenever it's cloudy, but there's nothing like seeing the beautiful colors of autumn against the blue sky. The contrast is just beautiful. Some of the trees are labeled. So this is a flowering dogwood. So if you're doing a leaf project for school, this is a great place to come to collect leaves. It's worth the drive up. Here's one of the overlooks. I'm not gonna walk down because I was already down at the bottom. Big Tooth Aspen. So coming here to collect leaves will be a guaranteed A. There's so many trees here. So if you're doing that leaf project, this is the place to be. 
coming to Tionesta Lake will give you that A+. Here's a beautiful red maple tree. And the leaves are just starting to turn. Most of it's still green. But I bet next week it will be beautiful shades of red. Here's a cute little cabin. I'm going to assume this is used for demonstrations because there's bleachers right in the front. Wow, gorgeous. Cabin is locked. Looks like a trough. Hmm. Very rustic. And there's a sign. Please do not pick the flowers. This reminds me of the song, in, a, in the Cabin in the Woods. My younger brothers did that song for their kindergarten play. They have one of these signs up, speed limit's 20. So I guess people are speeding through here. I don't understand why some people have to be in such a big hurry all the time. Just slow down and enjoy the scenery. I could see if you're on the interstate, that's different when the speed limit's 70 miles an hour. But in a place like this, there's no reason to be speeding through. And here's the control tower for Tile Nesta Dam. For protection level is Bravo, which, which is the highest they can go. This is as close I'm, as I'm able to get. get some of this beautiful fall foliage while we're here. It's a beautiful old farmhouse and I do not know the backstory on that house. That's something I have to look up. And there are hiking trails here at Tayonesta Lake. I'm not going to hike them today, I'm going to save them for another time because it's 3 o'clock and I still want to visit the Sherman Lighthouse. So I'm going to save the hiking trails for another trip. is one of the boat launches. This is where you can launch at and I'm not real sure what the horsepower is. And there are nine species of fish. This is a great idea. They have a life jacket loaner station.
and you do want to make sure your life jacket fits properly. It's a fantastic idea. I'm going to finish up here and then I'm off to the Sherman Lighthouse in Tayo Nesta, so be sure to check out my next video. Thank you for watching.